Hey guys, has wire or open sense settings in WireGuard gotten you frustrated? Are you have you been looking for days and days and weeks on end for the answers to setting this up correctly? Well, you found it. <laughs> I was frustrated for about that long, maybe even longer, um, until yesterday when I finally got it figured out. And what was confusing me and is a lot of people up here will have endpoint and uh, local, okay? So what they'll do is they'll tell you how to do it here and there and, and not all of it's correct, um, but they'll all be talking about endpoints and local. Well, if you go over here to your plugins, um, firmware plugins okay what i have is os wireguard what everybody else out there seems to have is uh wireguard go okay see i've got os wireguard install 2.5 uh, underscore 2 and if you go to wireguard everybody else has go and it looks a little bit different and like i said instead of having um the um, peers and instances, you've got a couple other tabs as well, but you've got endpoints, which is peers, and you've got local, which is instances. So I'm gonna show you how to set it up here. If you've got it um, where you've got the go instead, if you follow along and you substitute the, um, the peers and the instances for uh, endpoints and local, you'll do just fine. So what are, let's start over here in the peers and we'll add a peer, okay? And then um, I'm gonna pull up the settings that I got from my uh, VPN. Now I've changed the private key and the addresses and all that good stuff. So all this is just garbage. It's not gonna work anywhere. Um, but this is kind of what it looks like. You'll get a bunch of uh, string of characters here. And that's what you're going to be filling these boxes in with. And you can, you know, use BB Editor. You can use Text Edit. Whatever you've got um, should be able to uh, read this file for you. And you should be able to capture all these these um, keys. So the first thing we need is a name. So let's just name it my WG peer. You can name it my wg anything you want but you want to keep it separate um from your local all right so public key so if we bring up our provided settings we'll take this public key here and copy all of that and i'm hitting Control c or command c depending on whether you're on a mac or a a um, Windows machine and then you'll control C or command command or excuse me V um, to paste and then you need your pre-shared key and we'll go over here and we'll highlight that and you could also right click do the old right click and copy and then you know right click and paste if you want it's just easier on me to use the shortcuts okay so the allowed ips if you have a certain uh, network you want to let through you can do 192 blah 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 and let that through um and if you want to let everything through which is what i'm going to do uh just for the sake of being easy easy here you'll do zero quad zero backslash zero so that's going to let everything through hit the enter key you're going to go to your endpoint address and your endpoint is going to be right here okay and you want to leave off the colon you want to leave off the port okay you'll copy that and then you'll paste that in your endpoint address your endpoint port was according to my settings is 258 and then um your instances, you've got nothing in the instances over here. So at this point, we're just going to hit save. 
We'll set apply. Okay. We're going to go over to instances. We're going to add a new instance. Name that my WG instance. Okay. Do not click this because you don't need to generate them. You've got them. Okay. You'll pull up your public key again. So you're going to need your public key in both places. Okay. And then from here, you're going to hop up to the interface side and you're going to get your private key. Paste that in there. Ah. Okay. And there. Okay. Listen port, you're going to do 51, 280. And then if you're doing multiples, uh, you want to make sure if you're doing, you know, say you've got a, a WireGuard server in uh, Illinois and a WireGuard server in Florida, and you want to connect to both of them and you want to route surface, certain traffic through the Florida um, server and certain other traffic through the Illinois server, then you're going to need to do different listening ports. doesn't matter. It just needs to change and be over the 51280. So for sake of ease, I'm going to do that. Your tunnel address, you'll also copy that. And you want to make sure you get the slash, backslash, whatever they put in there. Hit enter. Okay. And then you hit advanced mode. And then you're going to need your DNS servers. And you can, you can hit advanced mode to start with. It doesn't really matter when you do it. You just need to do it. And then they'll provide you with a DNS server. They'll put that in there. Okay, so for your gateway down here, that's going to be when you get into your rules, pointing it to your your gateways, your your, your wire guard here. So, for sake of simplicity, what I do is I take this tunnel address, ten dot one o six dot two two nine dot, and then I just put one. Okay, that's all you want to do. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You can make it anything you want. It just needs to match when you go to setting up your other uh, firewall rules. You'll click save. You want to make sure that this is enabled again. Okay, save. Oh, ah, forgot. You need to disable routes. Okay, click save. And then apply. Okay, we'll come back over here to peers. We'll click on the edit button. Instances, we want to go back and select the WireGuard instance there. Click on save. Click on apply. Okay. You'll go to general. You'll enable WireGuard. Click on apply. And then if you've got the, um, the just uh, non-go version, you'll come, come down here to diagnostics. And you'll see that there's a handshake and it'll tell you how many bytes it's sent and how many is received and then um it should be up and running obviously since i changed all that i don't have it up and running here but if we hop over to my other machine okay you'll see that we've got um, handshakes and we've got where it's going to the gateway it's going to and the public keys and the status is up okay so that's what you need to do to get your um, wire guard up and running hope that helps it took me a while to figure it out and it was a smashing my head against the wall brick wall but we finally got it figured out so hopefully that helps you. And if you need any more help, feel free to leave me a comment. I answer them as fast as I can. And I may not know the answer, but if I certainly do, I will certainly help. Thanks. Bye-bye.